Hello drone racers, today we're going to be taking a look at some quadcopter gates. These are technically soccer nets, but we're going to take some scissors to them, take care of the center part, and uh, try these out. These are nice because they're six foot wide and four feet tall, so they're almost the same as multi-GP gates. So uh, we've got, I've gotten two that I tried out just to make sure they would work, and you'll see some footage of us testing those the first time. Now we've got four more we're going to cut out, and we're going to set up uh, UTT1 and see how it goes. All right, so there it is. It is taller than you. Can you open it up? Yeah. Make it into a goal? We just got it out. Can you figure it out? Oh, wait, there's Velcro. we got to undo this Velcro. Hold on. Look, there's Velcro down here. That hold it in place. There we go. All right, so that is got the Velcro all undone. Now, just flip it open. Flip, uh, flip, flip, up. Oh, my uh, gosh. Um, hmm. What's that? That is a soccer goal at the moment. Oh, there we go. This is huge. That's huge. That'll be perfect. A new soccer goal? Yes. We're going to cut out the net. We're going to cut out the net. Got it? Yeah. Eek! That worked. So. I think that's gonna work. So here's one of the advantages of these gates. I've got five of them here over my shoulder and they're just folded up, ready to go and make it really nice and easy to carry. So uh, it's no problem carrying them all out to where you need. I've got a wheel here so I can see exactly uh, what the right distance is. Get down with extra cones just to be able to make sure it's visible. There's the first gate. We walked it down to 184 feet. Okay, so quadcopter is over near the first gate. Gate one, two, uh, three, four, and then five are all set up here. So the question is, how well can I see them? Not screaming through the course here. Now where is it? There we go. See the cones, the reflections of the cones. You skipped that. No, I went through it. Did I? Yeah. I heard a, I heard like a flip flop. I think this one is due for new blades. So I've tried the simulators and I'll say, I'm sorry, but this is way harder in the simulator than it is in real life. I can't get through this without crashing in a simulator. And I really, here's my third lap. I mean, we're not, I'm not cruising. Not super fast, but hey, for just coming out here. Oh, I missed it. I don't think it's too bad. These gates are a little wide and a little short, but not too bad for what you're after. Yikes. High yeah. Are you gonna let me fly? Oh my gosh, you knocked down a gate. Did I knock it down? Oh, I did knock it down. Okay, I guess that proves why the stakes need to go in harder. <laughs> you just skipped that one. I need more camera angle. Nope, I went through it. I it. Oh, that one. I was trying to go too fast. Need more camera angle already. You already went through that one. Did I? No, that, I, that was a different one. So then here we break, and here's where the gate should be. <laughs> so I don't... No. Oh, I lost the video. Three lost. Okay, so all you have to do is pick up this corner, and pick up this corner. You got it? Like this? Yeah. And you go... Whoop. That's it. It looks kind of complicated, right? That complicated? You should have just seen Stu put his together. It took him like an hour, hour and a half. This one's for you, UAV features. Can I, you see me at all? Yeah. Yeah. This one's for you, Stu. I'll do it again. Ready? Take it out. It's a big square. And, oh, oh, I messed it up. There we go. That was a complicated one. And then it goes in the bag. Maybe, Can I try? Maybe, maybe put it in the bag is the complicated part. Okay, put it down, put it down, let Aiden get it. Let it go, Evelyn. Let go. Evelyn, let go. Yeah. Look at that! <laughs> you did it. 
You did it in five seconds. Good job. All right, there, they're all picked up. It took six minutes to pick, go out, pick up, fold up all the gates, carry them all in, pick up all the cones for two of us. One of us could probably do it in about the same with the cone holder. But these fold up so easy as you can see or have seen. But these things are great. They are available on Amazon. For a pair of them, I have paid between $65 and $85, I think, which seems like a lot, but they are so convenient, so fast, so small to store that it was well worth it for me. That's not gonna be right for everybody, but for me, the convenience was well worth it. If you go just follow the link on Amazon, they're probably gonna be shown for like $115 for some ridiculous reason. Don't buy those. There's a button to show all sellers on the right-hand side side and that will sh take you to the other places and that's where I was able to find them. I paid uh, $85 I think for the first set and then I was able to get two of them and one of them was technically used but I can't even tell which set it was for $65. So that makes these a bargain considering how easy they are to fold, carry, set up, and use. That's nice because they don't take up a lot of room in my garage but to get them here it, you have to have a truck or something because that's as small as they get. I was, thought they were going to be smaller than that, but that is it. So if you found this useful, leave a like down below. If you have any better gates that you've seen that we can share with people, go ahead and comment and uh, link those for them if you want to. But for me, wanting multi-GP gates, these are really close and they are really convenient. And until next time, remember, soccer fans will probably cry if they see this video.